Hey, I'm Kevin from Extreme Terrain, and this is my review of the Barricade Locking Fuel Door for 2007 to 2016 JKs. Now, in this day and time, I cannot fathom a late model vehicle like our new JK that doesn't have a locking fuel cap. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I'm straight to Siphonville right here. So why would they do that? I don't know. Maybe it's because there's so little security in these vehicles anyways with the soft top and things accessible. However, fuel costs money. We want to protect our investment, especially when gas prices rise because you know they're going to rise again. So a locking fuel door, it makes a lot of sense. This one looks good. It's got a wrinkle black finish, blends in with the rest of the JK stuff on our vehicle and gives us the option and the security. Although installation is really simple and quite easy, anybody can do it, it does require some drilling. And the first thing you gotta do is pull the gas cap off. There's a linear ridge on the swing out lid, so you might wanna use a level to make sure it looks right and is level against the quarter panel. After marking your location, a 7 64th bit will drill your pilot holes, and then the rest is done with a simple Phillips screwdriver. Now, I wouldn't even consider this a styling accessory, even though it looks really good, matches the wrinkle black powder coat on some of the other parts of this vehicle, and the studs match our wheel flare studs, so it does tie in stylistically. However, the security that this now gives me for protecting my investment in fuel and kind of just an overall theft deterrent that's gonna tell the person looking at this Jeep that I take my security seriously and there's probably nothing loose, there's probably nothing stealable in this rig. I take that pretty seriously. So for just about 60 bucks, this to me is money well spent. The theft deterrent alone, I think this product belongs on every Jeep. So that's my review of the Barricade Locking Fuel Door Kit and you can pick yours up and other accessories at Extreme Terrain.